Hello, welcome to this tutorial on statistics and probability distribution. In this video, we'll be looking at mean, variance, standard deviation, and coefficient of variance of discrete random variable. We have our problem here. The table shows the probability distribution of a discrete random variable x. Calculate the mean, variance, standard deviation, and coefficient of variance of the distribution. So we have the table here with the discrete random variable on the first column taking values 1 to 6 and the probability of each of the random variables in our solution we are going to start with the mean the formula for calculating the mean which is also known as the exact value of the distribution is given as exact value equal to sigma xp of x which means we are going to create additional column to accommodate xp of x and then to get xp of x we are going to multiply each of the random variable by the corresponding probability so we have 1 times 0 0.25 gives 0 0.25 2 times 0 0.11 gives 0 0.22 3 times 0 0.14 gives 0 0.42 4 times 0 0.32 gives 1.82 5 times 0 0.10 gives 0 0.50 and 6 times 0 0.08 gives 0 0.48 so what we'll do next is to sum up the xp of x so that's 0 0.25 plus 0 0.22 plus 0 0.42 plus 1.28 plus 0 0.50 plus 0 0.48 gives 3.15 since the sum of xp of x is 3.15 therefore the mean is 3.15 so the next thing is the variance the formula for calculating the variance is given as sigma x minus mean all squared multiplied by p of x so we are going to create a column for x minus e of x also x minus e of x squared and finally x minus e of x multiplying p of x so we start with x minus e of x this is x here we are going to subtract 3.15 so 1 minus 3.15 gives negative 2.15 2 minus 3.15 gives negative 1.15 3 minus 3.15 gives negative 0 0.15. 4 minus 3.15 gives 0 0.85. 5 minus 3.15 gives 1.85. 6 minus 3.15 gives 2.85. So the next is to create x minus e of x squared, which means we are going to square this. Negative 2.15 squared gives 4.6225. Negative 1.15 squared gives 1.3225. Negative 0.15 squared gives 0 0.0225. 0 0.85 squared gives 0.7225. 1.85 squared gives 3.4225. 2.85 squared gives 8.1225. So the last column is to multiply this column by p of x that is sigma x minus e of x all squared multiplied by p of x this column will be multiplied by this 0 0.25 multiplied by 4.6225 gives 1.55625 0 0.11 multiplied by 1.3225 gives 0 0.145475 0 0.14 multiplied by 0 0.0225 gives 0 0.00315. 0 0.32 multiplied by 0 0.7225 gives 0 0.2312. 0 0.01 multiplied by 3.4225 gives 0 0.34225. 0 0.08 multiplied by 8.1225 gives 0 0.6498 so we're going to sum up this last column in order to 
get our variance. So inputting this in our calculator, we have 2.5275, and that gives the variance of the probability distribution. The next thing is to go for standard deviation. A standard deviation is square root of the variance, and our variance is 2.5275. Therefore, standard deviation is square root of 2.5275, and that gives 1.5898. Why don't we see which is standard deviation? We then go for coefficient of variance. The formula for calculating coefficient of variance is the standard deviation divided by the mean multiplied by 100%. Our standard deviation is 1.5898 divided by the mean. The mean is 3.15 multiplied by 100%. We have this in our calculator. We have it as 50.47%, which represents the coefficient of variance of this probability distribution. And this is the end of solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in our next video. Goodbye.